Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be helping out Grey Garden. But before we do, let's go ahead and get a level put in. I did get one level before I was trying to debate on if I should put it into local leader or not. I think I'm going to go with sneak. I got a level from building up sanctuary. So if you're not building up sanctuary, I apologize if I am out leveling you. I just love to build. I'm going to go talk to the robot over here. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. I was in a vault. They put me in cryogenic freeze. Remarkable! I must say, darling, you seem very well preserved. Now, where was I? Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. I'm going to head over to the water treatment plant. I'm going to veer off to the left just over here where we looted the house over here by Grey Gardens in the last video. We're going to take the dirt road down. I don't think I need my lamp on right now. Everybody can probably see just fine. Going up that way will bring you to Arc Jets. Let's 
let's lockpick this trailer. Nice. There's really not much in here. Except for the ammunition. We're going to have some super mutants. Be very careful because we have a suicide bomber super mutant. They like hold a mini nuke in their hand and they run at you. It will be an instant kill. I can guarantee you that. There he is, right over there. Oop. Poor dog meat. Careful of the rocket launcher guy. He's obviously dangerous because of the rocket launcher. Where did the other super mutant go? I know he was just over here. I am super mutant! I am unstoppable! <coughs> Do not be scared to use your stim packs. Disarm that. And then come around here and disarm the makeshift bomb. The trip wire. And then if you want, you can take that missile launcher. Where did that super mutant go? Right there. Yeah, we're going to use our 10 millimeter pistol. Oh my god, dog meat. Get out of the way, dude. We can loot all of this stuff around here. We'll probably go over here and loot real quick. But there's no sense in me looting over there. There's not much. Take that. I think the next perk that I'm going to get is Gun Nut so we can level up our weapons. We definitely need to level them up. Let's go inside the Weston Water Treatment Plant. Turn on our lights. Terminal over there for anybody that wants to read some lore. Some Radix, that always comes in handy. Lock pick this door. That's it. 
Grab the stim pack. Not much in that. Um, closet, utility closet, I think it is. We're going to come up here and we're going to go up these stairs and go to the roof of the water treatment plant. Let's go ahead and lockpick this safe. Yes. And then I'm going to hack this terminal. Terminal will give you a little bit of lore and also let you unlock the safe if you can't lockpick it. Turn our lamp back on. And then we're going to go in this elevator and take it on down. You can also open up the hatch in some of the elevators. Not every single elevator, but Going some of them. Down. Lower level. Dog meat. Come on, dude. You got to move. Yeah, shoot dog meat, not me. He's the one that is being obnoxious. So right here you can lockpick this door, which we are going to do for experience, but you don't have to. You can just go around. There's a hole in the wall and loot whatever you want in here. Let's go ahead and lockpick the door. Got it. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to drain some of the water. button there right here we're gonna get the picket fences magazine bingo this is gonna allow us to build new patio furniture in our settlements right here we can hack into this for the turrets down there not going to bother with it. Let's go ahead and lockpick the safe. Sweet. Scoop this stuff up. <laughs> Having the astoundingly awesome tails that gives us 5% more damage against Mirelurks helps out a lot. Over there is just another way we could have come down over here. These poor guys. Looks like they were trying to get out of here, but did not succeed. That must have sucked. Let's go ahead and lockpick this door. Sweet. Take out the turret across the way. Be really careful because you do have some exploding canisters over here. You can use it to your advantage if you want. There's a turret right here. And then there's one right across the way.
There's nothing really to loot in here. Up top, there is a turret. Be really careful. Now we're going to use this switch. Oh, we got a legendary. <laughs> Dog meat, where you at? You're supposed to be helping me out, bud. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to reload. It's too close to the mire lurk. Eh, combat knife. Not important to my build. Always try to hit Mirelurks in their face, their stupid Mirelurk faces, because that's where you're going to do most of the damage. Trying to shoot them in their shell, you're going to do some damage, but not nearly as much. Over here is another switch. If you want, you can pick up these Mirelurk eggs. Turn them into a Mirelurk omelet. Wait for this to go down and then we can take out these turrets over here. <coughs> Let's top off our health. Sanctuary is under attack. I'm not really worried about it. I'll worry about that off screen. Right over here, some more Mire Lurks. <laughs> oh, another legendary? Two legendaries in one area. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, we are definitely going to switch over to that. Doing 25% more damage overall. Yes. That is exactly what we needed. Got two Mire Lurks that just popped up. They do put their head down as they're coming at you, so be careful about that. Man, I am just running through some stim packs, aren't I? Nah, I'll just come back and get it. We'll take some radiation damage from the water. That's alright, you don't have to be in there long. We're just coming over here to flip this switch. more bobby pins. Awesome possum. I'd like to loot this right over here. Some more Mire Lurk eggs if that's something that you want. And then right over here we'll loot this steamer trunk for all its loot. Not really much over here. 
So see how this hatch, you can't open it up. That's because this is technically a loading screen. Going up. Surface. Okay, we're going to come out here and we're going to hang a right. Yeah, dog meat, I know. You found something, I don't care. No, come on, bud. Stop running off. I know. I know, you found something. You want to show me. But I just don't care. I'm just going to follow this road around. And then we're going to hang a left. And then once we get to this trailer, this is where you're going to go up to the right. It's not really a pathway, but we're just going up to the next road. So just head straight west. And then up to this road. And over here to Fiddler's Green Trailer Park. We're gonna crouch. We got a radiation storm coming around. Be really careful, there is a ton of ghouls over here. Take some Radex just to make sure we're not taking too much radiation damage. We'll turn on our Pit Boy lamp. Dog meat is always getting in the way. I know he's trying his best. Over here you can hack into this terminal and unlock the wall safe if you can't uh, lock pick it. Let's go ahead and pick the lock on the wall safe. Nice. We get Fiddler's Green Trailer Key. Let's go ahead and hack this terminal. Okay, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna play our first hollow tape. Hello. My name is Storytime Simon, and I hope you like stories because I love to tell stories. This one is called The New Squirrel. Come with me on this magical adventure. There once was a young squirrel named Ricky who lived in a big oak tree in a city park. Ricky was a brown squirrel and lived in the oak tree with all his brown squirrel friends and family. Every day, Ricky would look out from the top of his tree and wonder what kind of squirrels lived in other trees. The older squirrels warned Ricky that the squirrels in other trees were thieves and liars. They were never to be trusted. Ricky had a rebellious heart and would not form his opinions based on anecdotal evidence. End of hollow tape. Please insert hollow tape too. Storytime Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is, part two of The New Squirrel. 
One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree? He needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the red squirrel. The red squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of holotape. Please insert holotape three. Over here, we're going to get a Live and Love magazine. Bingo. This will help us get extra experience, 25% extra experience for persuading women. Pretty niche magazine. Don't think we persuade that many women in the game. I don't know. Maybe we do. Let's go ahead and listen to this last holotape. Time Simon here with the exciting conclusion to The New Squirrel. Tomorrow we can get to know each other and become best friends, said Ricky to the Red Squirrel. The Red Squirrel made a sound that Ricky took for agreement, and the two squirrels curled up to sleep. Later that night, Ricky woke up to the sound of leaves rustling in the oak tree. He looked around. The Red Squirrel was gone. Ricky surveyed the landscape below and saw a pack of glowing eyes approaching the base of his tree. Cats! Ricky heard a voice from a nearby tree. It was the red squirrel. I'm sorry, he said. They were following me and I couldn't bring them to my tree. They would have eaten my family. As the cats ascended the tree and began to devour Ricky's friends and family, Ricky reflected on his decisions. His last words were, I really wish I would have trusted my elders. The end. That's a really messed up story. Move, dog meat. Trying to disarm these mines. So using the key, we can get into this trailer. Over here, you can get some T-60 power armor. Take some rat away. And then we will heal ourselves. And what I'm going to do is come over here to my inventory. And come down to the frag mines them over here we're gonna set these right over here we're gonna need these we're gonna have a ton of ghouls trying to kill us in just a moment you can make your life a little easier by doing this Away from the car. That was the dangerous one, the glowing ghoul. If you are having trouble with the ghouls, I wouldn't even fight them. I would just go somewhere else, just bypass this. But the mines do help 
regardless. Come in here, loot that trunk. I don't know where dog meat is. He got messed up there for a minute. We're going to come in this trailer. There's really not much in this trailer. Got it. Some more bobby pins. I wouldn't worry about that terminal. You can't do anything with it. Just grab the stealth boy and roll out of here. What we're going to do is we're going to head north. We're going to come around this rock face. Just follow it alongside here. Come down to the road. We're going to cross this bridge. And then right up there is Arc Jets again. Some Mire Lurks down there if you want to fight them. We're going to take a left. Lock pick this safe. Yes. We'll take it all. I'm gonna put some stuff in dog meat real quick. Someone there? So you're always gonna get ambushed by this raider and dog. Damn, we are getting a ton of legendaries today, aren't we? Oops, I did not mean to go through that real quick. So we're going to go into dog meat. I'm going to show everybody something. We just picked up some light dog armor. You can equip that onto dog meat. It's pretty cool. We'll go over to apparel. You hit triangle or Y on the Xbox, I believe. You can also give him a bandana. So he'll be able to take more damage. Yeah, just be careful for the raider and the dog after you come in there and lockpick the safe. Let's heal ourselves. And then we're going to put on our grenades again. We'll try to use a sniper rifle. Is this dog going? Just running in circles. That's pretty obnoxious. Again, do it again. 
he was messing me up, man. I want to come over here and grab that other piece of dog armor. It's actually a helmet. You can put that on dog meat as well. So we're going to equip that onto dog meat, the heavy armor, and the helmet. Hey. There we go. Now dog meat's looking like a badass. It's looking like a true dog meat. Still want to be really careful. There's a ton of raiders over here. Okay, that's not doing anything. Let's just go over there and start fighting them. Keep your eyes open. I think this asshole's using a stealth boy. You gotta reload sometime, <coughs> asshole. Where is he at? Oh, way over there. Another legendary raider? In my eyes. And we're getting really lucky with the legendaries. Hopefully everybody else is too. Unyielding can be pretty good. It depends on your perks that you're picking. We'll hack into that terminal in just a second. Can't see shit. I'll give you that. There's definitely a guy down there. You know what? We probably won't hack into that terminal just because <laughs> there's really no need. It only controls the turret and the lights. But if you want to, for the experience, feel free. We're going to come behind here, grab ourselves a fusion core. Oh, man, come back. I was having fun. No need to no sign of them now. Dog meat, come on man. You're really getting obnoxious with stepping in the way. Okay, we're gonna work our way down here. What the hell was that? Payback time, boogeyman! Damn, you died almost immediately, bud. Here's another terminal you can get into. We're going to go ahead and go into the Federal Rations Stockpile. We'll see everybody inside. Turn on our Pip-Boy lamp so everybody can see. Even though I am getting blinded. There's one more over here. Ain't nothing. Just keep our health topped off. If you want to go down there, you can.
Right over here, if you have a master hack, you can hack that terminal. It'll open up that door. We don't have that, nor do we want to open up that door. We want to try to get some experience here. Be careful. You shoot in there, everything's going to catch on fire. But now that we shot in there, we don't have to worry about it. Grenade. Oh, that was super close. I've done this hundreds of times. Think you'll be any different? Let's go ahead and lock pick this ammo box. That's it. Sweet. Come in here for another fusion core and a cap stash. Try to build up as many caps as we can get before we get to Diamond City. What the fuck was that? See a fool. Yeah, let's lock pick it. That's it. Be really careful. We have to disarm that. We'll be going over there in just a moment. Just making sure there was nobody there. So we could have come through this door if we had master hacking. That's what I was talking about earlier. We would have bypassed a bunch of stuff. Nice. gonna have a tough raider over here be really careful this is actually a named raider red turret or turret like turrets but turret or turret i don't know <laughs> red turret Ain't that's her name <clears throat> just don't die like i almost did Remember to reload before you start shooting again, unlike me. Nothing I want on her. And then right here, we're going to get the U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Yes. This will make us a little sneakier. You want to read the terminal and hack it for some lore? You can. 
And then right here are some things to read as well. making sure there's not an overdue book over there there's nothing really in here besides that combat armor definitely want that we're gonna be going straight north over there is a bandit camp or raider camp if you want to go over there and take out the raiders feel free I'll do that on my own time. We're going to be heading over to Sunshine Tidings. You can loot that over there as well. We're going to come up here. Crouch. Loot all this. And then right here we're going to get another Wasteland Survival Guide. Yes. This will give us an extra meat whenever we're looting a deer or rad roach, whatever we're killing. So if you like to do taxidermy and stuff like that into your settlement, pretty good to have. We're going to come down this way. And we're going to start making our way to Walden Pond. Just take the path on down. Matter of fact, I believe we can take a road right here. Oop. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. I'm sorry. Where's he at? Sorry, I almost took the wrong way. We don't want to go that way. Just head east. You can go inside there if you want. We're actually going to be circling around and ending up inside that house anyways or gift shop. I believe it's a gift shop. Let's go inside this drainage pipe. sure he had everything he needed before he started his camping trip in that little shack up top double checked his list and everything and that's why they call it being the row oh and this guy invented trans uh transal trains dentalism moron you sound like an idiot
What the hell was that? You killed him! Wouldn't let me get over there for a minute. Weird. Right here we're going to get a magazine. Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. Yes. Go ahead and lockpick this safe. Got it. Definitely needed some more stim packs. Dog meat, you are all up in my way, homie. Right here, we can get the special weapon, Big Jim. Excellent. I'm going to head up the stairs and we're going to be in the gift shop. There is an overdue book right here and a cap stash, but be really careful. There is a ton of makeshift bombs over here. You stand up, they're all going to go off. So I would just stay crouched. What we're going to do is we're going to fast travel back over to Grey Gardens. There's no need for us to walk all the way back over there. It's not far, but I mean... It would just be a waste of time. We already explored all this stuff. All right, I'll see everybody at Grey Garden. Supervisor White. Darling, so good to see you. You fixed our water problem, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Such a gentleman, too. I simply must give you something. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! We're going to go talk to Preston Garvey, and I believe that... If Seems to be growing well. We're going to grab all this mute fruit. I'm pretty sure that the... Um, having to protect Sanctuary is still going on. So maybe we'll do that as well. Nope. Guess not. We'll put on Troubled Waters real quick. Eh, we'll keep that on as well. Where's Preston at? I'm still working really hard over there. We will sleep until Preston is up. That'll make things easier. Oh my god. Try not to show too much off of what I've built. No, it is being attacked.
Where's Preston at? There you are, bud. Let's talk to you. What now? We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. It sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? I'll think about it and get back to you. Your call. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. We'll do that much later. Real quick, let's go ahead and put a perk into our stats. I think I'm going to go with Gun Nut. Because I want to level up my weapons and try to get a silencer on there if we can. And then I think I'm going to end here. Because when we come back... I'll probably do some more building on Sanctuary and we'll put some more levels in. I'm not sure what we'll put more levels into, but I'm sure I'll figure it out by that time. All right, everybody, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.